Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Cortana is not working in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to change your region. To do this press the Windows button, then select the settings app and then on the left pane make sure to click on time and language. Now on the right side click on language and region. In here just make sure to scroll just a bit until you find the region section and then in the country or region section you have a drop down menu. Click it and make sure to select United States from the list to reset the Cortana settings. Now you can close the settings app and you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to check your firewall. To do this press the windows button then simply type allow and then look for the option called Allow an app through Windows Firewall and select it from the search results. Inside the Allowed Apps and Features window, just go to the Change Settings button and click it. Now you can scroll down until you find the Cortana features and make sure in here to tick the boxes next to it and as well in the Private and Public section. Now just click on OK to save the changes. You can also scan your PC for potential errors. To do this press the windows button then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here type or copy paste the following commands from the description below but make sure to press enter after each command. Now you can just wait for the completion of the process. After you've finished just restart your computer and then launch the Cortana app to test if everything is working properly. And another great solution is to install the latest update. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon. In here on the left pane make sure to select the Windows Update section and then on the right side you have the Check for Updates blue button. In order to check the updates just click it and then wait until Windows will find any potential updates. Afterwards you can just install them. Now you can just check if Cortana still does any trouble. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.